Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, we'll talk again about uh, Microsoft account versus local accounts. But in the case where you have only one computer, which is probably the majority of people, they only have one PC. What are the advantages or why should I have either a Microsoft account or a local account? What is the change? What makes the difference? So if you have only one PC, of course, once again, when you actually set up Windows 10 and it's connected to the internet, Microsoft kind of pushes you towards the Microsoft account. But a lot of people prefer local accounts because they don't like the fact that, you know, their PC connects to Microsoft all the time with their, you know, with an account with there's, you know, privacy settings and there's there's, you know, kind of the privacy uh, thing going on here where, you know, you don't, a lot of people don't trust necessarily or aren't sure exactly what Microsoft, you know, shares or not. So what is the advantage of a Microsoft account for a single PC user? Two things, um, I would say. One is the possibility to use some of the apps that otherwise would not work. So Cortana, for example, or, you know, some of the accounts, including the Microsoft Store, uh, to actually get apps. <clears throat> if you don't use the Microsoft Store or any native apps within Windows 10, it's not much of a problem. Um, the other advantage of using a Microsoft account is the fact that all your settings and all of your, for example, if you use Edge, Microsoft Edge favorites are stored into the cloud. That means next time you need to set up a PC or maybe you buy a new computer and need to set up your new computer, Microsoft Sync capability will actually import all of those settings that you like and keep them in your PC. So your PC will feel like you've never left. Even if it's a new computer, you'll have the impression that nothing has changed because that new PC will have the same settings imported back to you. Your Microsoft Edge browser will have the same, um, you know, bookmarks uh, sync back to you. The colors, everything, the theme you were using uh, in the background. So when you use a theme like I do, I use multiple different themes. All of that will be synced back to your PC. So these are the advantages of the Microsoft account. If that is something that you don't really mind or care, the, I would say the only advantage of using a local account is if you are weary of um, anything that has to do with privacy um, you know, maybe you're thinking, you know, Microsoft snoops on whatever we do, or it's a, it's a very personal thing. Um, I personally do not have any problems with privacy settings in Windows 10, but some of you might. And this means that by having a local account, you lower the amount of snooping, if you want, uh, that possibility, because there's very limited information sent out to Microsoft. Of course, there's still the telemetry of Windows 10 in the basic form, but you know you won't have any accounts linked, so you won't have anything linked to an email and to your personal information in that account. That said, you still will be somewhat tracked a little bit with the um, advertising ID, because even in a local account, Microsoft will create a advertising ID linked to a non-Microsoft account user. That said, the way they do it is supposed to be anonymized so they don't know who you are or where you are or necessarily. But um, that's still, and that's a controversy a little bit here in Windows 10, that still will happen uh, and that's in the uh, way Microsoft wants to maybe uh, display ads when you go on the internet for Bing, for example, or if you haven't turned off the uh, different um, settings to prevent uh, Windows 10 from actually displaying um, or 
suggest ju suggesting any apps and stuff. But it lowers the amount of data sent to Microsoft servers. So it's more of a privacy thing than anything else. As for the rest, like I said, Microsoft accounts uh, give you more capabilities, even if you have one PC and the ability to sync back all of your settings and uh, themes and uh, bookmarks and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.